Because policy, uh, definitely policy is fundamental for us to advance uh, in, in, in our goal of improving gender equality in and through the media and ICTs, as policy gives us the institutional base to uh, give steps forward. Without policy, there is no any possibility to uh, improve uh, key mechanisms and um, tools for the advance of this agenda. And I would say that um, it, yeah, uh, policy uh, guarantees that uh, the states uh, pay attention, not only attention, but they um, devote the resources needed in terms of funding, but in terms of um, institutional frameworks, in, in, in terms of uh, human resources, to uh, make uh, gender equality in media and ICTs happen. I will link this with the national level, the national and regional level. Uh, when you have an international framework, what you have there is a key tool to show to your national government that there are international recommendations and mandates that need to be assumed by national governments. So this has been the case with the Mexican government when we uh, uh, took a step, uh, steps forward uh, related to the uh, broadcasting and telecommunications law, which, wa with, which was approved in 2014. Our main argument for the Senate, the Mexican Senate and the Mexican government to uh, introduce articles related to gender equality, uh, our, our argument was based on the uh, international uh, policy framework. And of course, we quote uh, be the Beijing Fl Platform for Action, but as well the CEDO, the Convention on the Elimination of, of, of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, and as well the Belém do Pará uh, Convention for the American States uh, to eliminate all forms of violence against women. So I, I would definitely s uh, say that the international human, women's human rights frameworks give us an umbrella to operate at the national at, uh, and at the, at the regional level. And at the same time, that framework give us, allow us to come together at the international um, level, I mean, to these arenas. You quoted the example of the CSW, but I'm thinking as well in other international key forums where this agenda needs to be visible because we must recognize that uh, from all the 12 areas uh, included in the Beijing Platform for Action, uh, the Section J is uh, where less progresses uh, are registered. And so the work that we can do at a transnational level will be key to call the attention of the member states, but to call the attention to of the UN agencies and of the sectors involved here, particularly of media, both media and ICT sectors. So definitely I would say that without a legal international framework, we, um, we could not achieve all what we have, um, um, you know, um, yes, done and I would say that for example uh, talking in particular about the, the, um, the recent experience with CSW the link of GAMAG I mean of the Global Alliance on Media and Gender with the Mexican government was key for GAMAG to influence um, the conclusions adopted by member states so I think uh, yes, uh, you know that the transnational. When we when we refer to the transnational level, we we uh, understand that different dimensions intervene here, and and definitely we need the international framework.